finally i will show you how to render your video now you will find this render section if you come at the end of this it is like one two three four five six seventh option you will see this rocket option this is the render option here now here it is your render timeline you can preview your video here and you can see how many clips you have here okay you can also see your timeline and stuff that here other than that here you will find your render option you can see that render setting now you can render your video which is optimized for youtube in 1080 pixel and you can also render it in vimeo setting 1080 pixel and you can also edit this stuff here for example if you want to add uh, render it uh, 720p or in full hd you can easily do it you can also render your clip in h264 and also imf and if you want to render your clip for final cut pro you can just render it and you can also edit that stuff here in uh, final cut pro okay you can also render it in premiere pro and avid media and pro tools and if you want to just render the audio of your clip you can just click here and it will render your audio okay so i will click on custom okay now here the first option you will see is name now you can add a name to your file for example i will add a name to it aeroplane okay and after that you can browse through your computer and save your location i will just click on browse and save it as default okay after that you can render as a single clip for example uh, both of this clip will render as single clip or if you click on individual clip it will render as individual this one will be rendered separately and this one will be rendered separately okay i'll click on single clip okay after that here you will see your format uh, you can render it in quick time and mp4 and stuff like that i mostly render it in mp4 so i'll click on mp4 and you can also change your codec okay and uh, i will read this network optimization after that you can select your resolution you can select uh, up to full ultra hd and if you want to render it in 8k you need to purchase a davinci resolve studio okay uh, i will select 1920 by 1080 pixel okay full hd and after that you can select your frame so, uh, at the start of my video i selected the frame of 30 frame per second so i will change it to 29.93 okay after that you can also select the quality you can select automatic or you can just add your restricted to uh, just search for example if you want to render your video for youtube just search here uh, which is best optimization for youtube quality just and then copy that setting and paste it here uh, in my opinion 10,000 kbps is best for youtube so select this one and if you just want to automatic just select automatic and change it to best okay after that you can select your encoding profile i will may select the main and keyframes you can select it every i will select uh, automatic and here in advanced setting here in advanced setting you can change advanced option like pixel aspect ratio data levels color space tab data burns in i will leave it as default so i will move it to subtitle setting and here you can add the subtitle just export the subtitle here you can easily do it okay after that you can also change the audio here you can change the audio codec okay there's only one available right now and you can also change the audio data rate and stuff like that here and you can also change your file file custom name file suffix and file subfolder and stuff like that here and once your render setting is done then click on add a render queue and it will add it to render queue now you can edit lots of video and then at night you just click on start rendering and and when you wake up in early morning you will see that all of the video is rendered this is huge time saving you can just add a new job every time and then add it at once just click on this start job and it will start editing your rendering your clip okay